Hey everyone, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try and do this in about five minutes. So I'm going to show you uh, a rundown of exactly everything you need to know to start staking on Polkadot.js network. So I'm actually going to go through this very quickly. I have the exact step-by-step -step video if you want to start learning how to stake from your Nano Ledger S or your Nano Ledger X in my free course down below, the, the link is going to be below. So let's get into the video. So here it is. I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible. One of the first things you're going to need is this. It's a Chrome browser extension. The link is going to be below. It's basically the Polkadot wallet. Okay. So now what you want to do is if you're doing this from your Nano Ledger S, you want to come to polkadot.js.org. You want to go to settings over here. Come over to settings, make sure that you attach Ledger via USB, click on save. Now you want to go to accounts. You come over to accounts, you want to create two accounts, a controller account and a Ledger account. Ledger is your, your Nano Ledger S, your controller actually it controls everything. So the four things you're going to need to know is what a validator is, what a nominee is. A nominee is someone like you and I who are going to stake on a validator. It validates, helps with transactions, etc. A controller account controls everything you do with your stash account, bonding, unbonding, etc. And your stash account is where you keep 99% of your Polkadot to stake. So picture your stash account as your, as your cold wallet. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create an account a controller account on the polka.js over here so as you can see i've got my controller for ledger next uh, you want to add your ledger so after that you're going to have these two enabled here okay so once you have those two enables here now the next thing you want to do is you want to come over to to network and you want to go to staking and this is where you're going to bond everything okay so you want to, once you're in a staking, you want to go to account actions. Now, once you see account actions, you can see I got my stashes. So I got my stashes, which has X amount of bond in here. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to add a stash. Okay. So once you have your stashes, like, like I already have mine here. So you could click on stash. You have your stash account, which is your ledger, and your controller account, which is the controller. So you should have two separate addresses. They should be different. Now, you want to keep majority of your, your funds in your stash account, maybe about one to two dot in your controller account. Then you want to bond everything, okay? This is basically saying you want to bond on chain um, for duration minimum, like when you unbond is 28 days. And where do you want the payments to go back to? To your stash account for me okay then you bond now like I mentioned you should have at least uh, one to two dot in your controller account um, because it even mentions here mentions here to ensure optimal fund security using the same stash controller is strongly discouraged but not forbidden okay so then you want to bond everything this is this doesn't mean that you're staking yet okay so now once you have everything bonded uh, the first thing you want to do is actually put some money into your let your, your controller account. So what you want to do is you, you want to come to accounts first. Um, you click on your ledger right here. So you copy that address because it says copy. Now you want to send. So you want to send it to your controller. So you want to say how much you want to send. I want to send one. Click make transfer. Done. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to come over to staking. Come over to staking you first want to look at who you want to stake with, how you want to stake. I've got a long tutorial and my free course. It's not long. It's about 27 minutes. But basically, you want to go to targets and you want to make sure that you're getting the right commission. They haven't been slashed, etc. So after you picked your list of validators and you're, you're going to nominate on them, you want to go to account actions. Now, um, so now that I have my stash account, what you want to do is you want to nominate on them. So you come over here. You want to go from your ledger uh, to, sorry, you use, want to use your controller, and then you go to next. It's going to bring you to a screen where you want to nominate. So I'm going to just show you. So you could set, you could set your nominees. So my stash account. Uh, my, so that that's it. So once you've got your stash, okay, your stash, you're going to be saying that, hey, in my stash, this is what it's going to look like. Your, your stash account is your ledger, your Nano Ledger X 
which is your cold wallet and polka dot and your controller is where you keep one to two dot just to control everything so now you you pick the nominees that you start and that you think are good and then you nominate and that's it so you can just take that out and um that's it you want to nominate so let's just the fees are 21.3 whatever milli so let's sign this sending from controller because oh then you put in your password sign transaction and done that's it so that's how you stake so it's pretty straightforward like i said i've got the full tutorial in my free course down below the links below i kind of wanted to uh, make this quick so you get an overall idea on how to do it uh, but like i said everything's down below i go step by step so um pretty straightforward it's not that hard it's just uh picking a list of nominees make sure you got 16 of them 14 to 16 and you don't have to check so often but you want to make sure that within that era your validators are actually getting rewarded because if they're not getting rewarded you're not getting rewarded but if you have 14 to 16 of them that you've selected you should be okay so anyways uh, hopefully, this, hopefully this was uh, short and quick. Sorry if I mumbled uh, too much, but uh, I wanted to make it quick, not uh, a full 30-minute video, just so you can get um, a glimpse or a take to see if you'd rather do it on Kraken, because Kraken you could do it within 12, uh, within two to three clicks. With Polkadot, JOS, Org, and staking on the Polkadot network or on Kusama, um, it does take a little bit um, more time to do and learn. But uh, I think if you're going to be in cryptocurrency for a while, I think you should actually start to learn the Polkadot ecosystem because like they said, not your keys, not your crypto. So be safe and I'll see you in the next one.